And as far as planning your migration, one of the first tools or features of ShareGate that you're probably going to be looking into is our source analysis. So it's available under plan. You have source analysis. You just hit get started and then you have two different options. You can do a source analysis against your file share based on your intended destination and same thing on a SharePoint or Microsoft 365 site. And again, based on the intent of where you're moving this, we're going to be able to provide you with some useful tips on what you should be looking out for. Just to give you an idea, it's going to run, it's going to give you how many files you have, how large is that, and are there any potential issues? It would give you whether you have missing permissions, so you can look into that to make sure that when you are going to go about your migration, you are not missing the permissions and everything goes through. You're also going to give warnings on folders that would have more than 5,000 files because there's an important limitation, especially with SharePoint Online, about 5,000 a limit on the list view threshold after 5,000 items, it can't display all of your views and this can be problematic, especially for the end users. You can still bring more, obviously many more than, much more than 5,000 files within a single folder and within a library, obviously, but based on your views, it might not be a good idea. We're also going to look into files that might be too large, though the restriction on file size in SharePoint Online has drastically increased in the last few years. So rarely will you see something about files that are too large. For file share to SharePoint, you're possibly going to see some file or further length, length or path that would be too long. That's because there is a limitation of 400 characters in a uh, path for SharePoint Online. And depending on the, how many folders you have within your source and so on, well, it and names of folders and files, uh, it can end up ex exceeding this and Sharia wouldn't be able to bring them into SharePoint. So notification on that and also blocked file extensions. Now there's less and less of fi file types that are blocked within SharePoint Online, but there's still some, or maybe there are some that have been blocked by you or by your admins, and this would come up here. So this is really an interesting way to get a better understanding. It's also mostly an easy way to get a better understanding of what it is that you are going to need to migrate and the possible challenges that you would face, uh, if applicable, when doing this type of migration. I could do the same with like a SharePoint site that I'm moving to any other SharePoint environment and then selecting my source, just need to drive and drill down to the site that I'm about to migrate, then run the analysis and you get the same, very similar information, a bit more because now it's SharePoint to SharePoint. So you get to know whether there are custom master pages uh, that we do not necessarily support. So you'll find out uh, site templates, list templates that are not supported, custom features that might be an issue or that would need to be deployed manually before you do your migration. We bring to your attention unused site. Doesn't mean they're not visited, they're not consulted, but they haven't seen any modifications in the last six months. So maybe that's a hint that maybe these sites can be left behind. And checked out files. We always bring out checked out files here because we won't see them if they're checked out and they'll be missing at destination. You can obviously create or custom reports or use the ones that we have to get more information or more specific information that you might need according to your business scenario or migration scenario. Uh, so few out of the box uh, reports are there. The unused site report is actually a report of its own. Uh, maybe you're curious to find out, are there lists or sites that have workflows? Should I look into that? That kind of information. Or if you just need to build a inventory, you could use your site report or site collection report to get a full list of everything that exists within your environment, which can be used also for in comparison after your migration.